Hi everybody, Liz from Liz and Annie here, and I'm in my Zoom room with my colleague Rachel, who has just uh, casually happened to ask me a question that I thought would be really helpful for probably other people too. So Rachel, could you please uh, ask again what your question was? I would like to know when, um, when you have meetings back to back, how to have people in a waiting room so that they don't join your meeting uh, prematurely from, you know, mm -hmm. uh, previous session so that's that's a really handy thing to be able to do uh when you have meetings that are stacking up all day and or uh, somebody comes into your room when they're maybe not supposed to be there and you're having another meeting and you didn't lock the meeting or you don't want to password protect it so what can where can you put them how can you manage it if you've got too many people in your room for whatever reason whether students crowding in office hours to ask you a question or whatever uh, okay so i'm going to go down to the bottom of my taskbar here click on security so this is uh, the security button down here is a new feature that they've recently added. Zoom has recently added as they've uh, updated all the software for people. So now it appears down here instead of making you go hunt for what you want to do in all the settings, which is much nicer in case you need to do something in the meeting. And we're, I should warn her, but we're about to be joined by my colleague, Erica. So hello, Erica, just so you know, you're being recorded. So if that factors into whether you'd like to turn your video on right at this moment, uh, are you good? Okay, hi. So Rachel had a question and I'm just recording it so I can make another YouTube video to like answer it. And her question was, how do you enable the waiting room feature? So you can do this now. It's very convenient from within an ongoing, already active Zoom meeting. So you don't have to navigate out to the web page to do it. Come down here to security, click on that. And then I can go up here, click enable waiting room. This actually might be nice if other people are uh, gonna attempt to join my Zoom room momentarily because they, we will see how that works. I'm, I haven't had this on in my Zoom room before, so I'm not sure what it's gonna tell me as the host when somebody else might wanna come in and join. But Rachel, uh, do you have the latest update of the Zoom software? I don't think I do. Is there another way to do it? Uh, th to enable the waiting room? Oh, I found it. It's okay. on preferences for um, for uh, like on the Zoom website. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So until you update your software, and they keep pushing updates. So there was one like yesterday, I think, or like there have been probably no joke for this week. So just keep checking. Check all the time. You got to quit and restart the program whenever you want to update it, though. So it's not convenient to do if you have back-to-back -back meetings. But yeah, you could use waiting room to like pop somebody into the waiting room. And the way I would do that, actually, I like to show you guys that too, I have this up. Uh, so I could take, let's say, I didn't want Erica in here yet. She's early for our meeting that's scheduled next. So I could take, click on her under my participant management window and I could put her in the waiting room. Bye, Erica. So she's gonna disappear for a minute. And now I have this that I can manage over here. So it's reminding me, Zoom is reminding me when I look at my participant management window that I have at least one person in my waiting room. If I really, uh, Rachel, I'm also gonna put you in the waiting room just for a second. I'm gonna put Rachel in there with Erica. And then somehow it spotlighted my video, that's strange. Okay, so now I have two people. So now I have options because I have multiple participants in my waiting room. I can kick them out of my meeting entirely, but I don't wanna do that to either of my colleagues. I can admit them one by one. Let's say I'm having office hours in my Zoom room, or I can admit everybody all at once so they're all welcome to come back in and join. So uh, Erica is coming back and Rachel is coming back. Okay, welcome back, you guys. I hope it wasn't too bleak. I have a question for you. Did you see each other in the waiting room or are you just in your own purgatory spaces? Okay, so that's good to know. It doesn't just check all your students or all the people who are coming in into one corral. It's like individual spaces where it can hold people until it's their turn to be admitted. Okay. So uh, hopefully that answered the question. I would recommend everybody update their software over and over and over because then new stuff makes your life a lot easier and more convenient to do all these things that we definitely need to be able to do on the fly from the control panel. But thank you for that question, Rachel. That was excellent.